right, so let's get started. Now uh, we're in the Mintware login screen, which is where you'll also be. And I'm just using my account. I'm using Madhav's computer um, over here. So I've just logged in here and you'll use your single sign-on for Mintware, okay? So if you have that and you'll come straight to your dashboard and uh, the products that you have access for, you'll see them immediately here. Um, and, um, you know, depending on which products you have access for. So Zcard, in this case, you have access. Let's go straight ahead um, and get um, into the members area dashboard uh, for that. So this is your clean data rich dashboard, which is exactly how it should be as well. You can see your total transactions, your total sales. So let's go through, you know, everything, number of sales, the net profit, total tax, uh, that you've paid. You can see the total sales, um, the revenue, commission paid, uh, and you can see all of these stats all at one glance. So gross revenue, net revenue, your total transactions that you've done, uh, the total customers that you have. So this is a new account. So, you know, I just have one customer in here. So for example, the sales tax collected or the commissions collected or commissions outstanding as well. This is what you'll see um, over here. Um, and uh, if you have any refunds, uh, gross refunds, refunded customers, refund rate, and even the refund amount is what you'll see over here. And what you'll see at the bottom is obviously um, a, a, a graph on, on, on a timeline as to what your total amount of transactions have been. Okay, so remember this is a multi-currency dashboard. So whichever currency you sell your products in, even in multiple currencies, you'll see all of them right here over here. Now another cool feature is you can see all your products or all your recurring products or non-recurring products. You can filter the view of this dashboard based on that. So I selected all recurring. So all of my recurring products that I have sold um, over here, they'll display over here. And uh, all those stats, uh, you know, will show up. And the same way is with all non-recurring products, which are one-time uh, kind of sales, I select that and they also show up over here. So it's a cool way of filtering out what you want to see at one point of time. Okay, and then obviously you can select by date. So you can select a custom range, you know, today, last, uh, whatever, last month, or even select a custom range from then to then and see all your transactions, all the sales that you've done um, during that time. So this is uh, another cool thing. So let's go to my profile now. And this is, uh, you know, very elaborate, my profile uh, place. You can put your email in, your store name, your full name um, as a business owner. Um, your affiliate ID is in here, your telephone number, um, and you can select uh, your currency and stuff over here. So, I mean, uh, obviously I've selected United States dollars because, um, you know, that's where I'm based out of primarily, but you can select a lot of other currencies like um, you know, people asked us for Indonesian rupiah um, or Nigerian nairas um, or even, uh, you know, Philippine pesos uh, and many other currencies, Thai baht or Indian rupees, obviously, but mine is obviously United States dollars and you can update the profile after filling in the information. Now, it's important that the currency that you select will also be the currency that you see uh, primarily as the currency uh, in your dashboard. So all you need to do thereafter is just uh, hit save. I also uploaded a logo, by the way. So after your data is saved, um, you're actually good to go. Now let's take a look at uh, the settings. Okay, so we go here uh, under the picture and select settings and you come here. This is pretty simple. So it depends on uh, how you want to get notified whenever you use a buyer's product by email or by browser notification. Um, and uh, there's also the option of getting notified by SMS. Uh, so uh, if you want to do that, you can certainly uh, connect the services and do it. So let's go back to the dashboard. I'll show you a really cool feature. And you know, you can switch between vendor and affiliate in your own account. You can see what your status is as a vendor, but also as an affiliate. So here, this is my affiliate account. So in this, um, I can see my net commissions, the clicks, the transactions, gross sales, conversions rates, total customers, refunded customers, EPC, uh, refunded transactions, all this data, average order value, everything for any date, any custom range of date, uh, I've selected all time right now. So you can see this at any time uh, over here. Then let's move over to the products. You see your approved or pending products. You can see your commission history. 
um, over here for all your products so you can select products you can connect payment processors so in this case we'll just connect our um, PayPal account I won't do that over here you can save you can see your outstanding commissions um, so everything in this uh, clean dashboard uh, you can see for your um, affiliate dashboard so I'm back to the overview and now let's go back to the vendor view and the vendor dashboard a single flick of a switch you can go between the vendor and the affiliate dashboard with such amazing ease so okay let's take a look at the funnels now okay so here the funnels are there you'll see all your funnels over here you can change between the list and the grid view you can create a funnel here if you want to create one from scratch you can just go ahead and create a funnel here and interestingly if you're an x funnels user every funnel that you have in x funnels will get fetched over here and this is an amazing cool feature okay so let's go to the products and we can now create a new product you know it'll ask us to create a product we can create a completely new funnel but we won't do that because we already have a product in there so let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the product now this is the product now you can in this product what you can do is you can see uh, you can uh, you know copy the product URL so you just copy the product URL and you can edit the product delete the product what you can also get is the affiliate URL of the product so if you want to provide it to somebody to promote um, you can you can do that as well and uh, you know if, if some if they have a Z card account what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to try to sign in as Madhav uh, let me open an incognito window um, and uh, in that incognito window let me put this URL in so I'm going in as Madhav now and, and uh, Madhav is logging in into his account uh, he has the affiliate apply URL so you'll see the product over here so Madhav can ask me, so, you know, please allow me to promote this product um, and yada, yada, yada. You see, you, you know, click all those things. Uh, Madhav is saying that he's not a bot. So he's clicking the stairway to heaven there. Uh, everything is verified. And then he can ask for uh, approval to be provided. You can also see the various pricing levels, one time subscription or split pay for the product. So, okay, so this is your product overview now, the affiliate dashboard. So now you'll see that you've applied for this. So this is in, in, in pending products. Um, and um, now this is Madhav's dashboard. So, uh, so, you know what, it won't show up right here just yet. So let me go back to my own view and uh, here I've set it to auto approve so it'll all you know it'll auto approve on its own uh, but here I can see that uh, my mother um, mother is one of my affiliates for this product um, I can see all my requests there and the mother.gmail.com account that's uh, you know connected art with Arti's name um, on it I can view the affiliate uh, over there, what sales they have done for me in the past. This is Madhav's account. As we can see, you know, if they have done sales for me in the past, all those stats, um, you know, with their affiliate ID, the currency that they have sold in, um, all of those products will show up uh, right here on this dashboard. So you can also search for products, um, you know, right here over here. You can delete the affiliate if you wish to. And actually, you know, all the product approvals that you uh, have to do, they'll show up here in the My Affiliates section. Your affiliates will show up over here. The requests that you have, you can, you'll see your outstanding commissions here. Um, but I'd like to show you some product options now. So what you can do is you can customize the sign up page you can edit the sign up page uh, using this option um, and make it look like exactly how you want it to be uh, but you, there are also some promo materials that you can set up for this specific product so for example you can um, you know enter swipe copies this is for email marketing um, you can write your company name business name uh, what the text of the uh, email is going to be uh, for email marketing uh, you can you can design banners you can upload or you know set up banners over here uh, for this uh, product so you can you know use banners uh, as well videos custom videos uh, right here using links and if you totally want to customize this obviously you can use html code uh, that goes straight there so it gives you a full customization uh, options right there so customization and flexibility are key and this is exactly what this uh, tool allows you to do. Okay, so let's take an, a look at uh, the URLs, the affiliate URLs that you can get. There is the sign up URL, and then there's obviously again uh, the affiliate uh, example URL that you can get. Um, okay, then you can also get embeddable buttons, um, which look like this. So, you know, all you need to do is uh, copy the code and, and get the button, but you can also get banners, like so you can get these images 
um, like this and all you need to do is copy the code um, and put it on your website so it'll look exactly like this um, and uh, you know whoever goes ahead and um, clicks on that button will get straight uh, straight away taken to your uh, sign up URL. So your affiliate URLs and sign up URLs are pretty simple. Um, uh, you know when you when you click on them you'll come to a page like this. So uh, you know someone who can uh, who is interested in promoting this can provide you their information and sign up. Uh, but obviously if they are already uh, a member in the system and and already have an account then you use this link. Um, and then uh, when, when they go ahead and click this link, um, then you can uh, take that information. Uh, they can log in uh, and, and sign up uh, if they are already a member uh, in Zcart and have an account over there and get uh, going with their promotion. So it's a, an amazingly easy system uh, that you can use sign up URLs and these URLs uh, to get started. Okay, let's take a look at products now. So let's, uh, you know, this is a product that's uh, already been created. Let's edit this product. I created this earlier uh, so that uh, we could play around with it just a little bit. So uh, the product um, it, it can be a digital or a physical product. There are three stages, product, checkout and after purchase. So let's say this is a digital product. Let's go ahead and confirm. You can uh, change the name of the product, uh, the unique URL for the product. You can keep it as live test or you can even uh, disable the product uh, if you don't want to uh, sell it temporarily. Um, then uh, there's obviously you can choose a funnel uh, so that you can be an upsell or downsell. Obviously, if it's the first time uh, it's being uh, it's it's being um, used, then it'll be a front end. But thereafter, everything is pretty much uh, customizable uh, as to how if you want to keep it as an upsell or a downsell. And that's the whole point of the funnel. So you can, um, uh, you know, choose all the other things like who the owner of the product is. Uh, I am the owner in that case. The description of the product can be changed, the product image. Um, and then you go save and next. And then you can connect payment gateways. Now you've already set up payment gateways in, in, in the back, um, in the back end. I'll, I'll show them to you in just a minute. Uh, and all you need to do is that you need to select them for this particular product. Uh, and so uh, whenever the payment processing for this product is done, um, uh, these uh, payments, uh, payment gateways are set up. So there are, there are Stripe and PayPal in this case. Um, all that one needs to do is, you, you know, just go ahead and, uh, connect those. Um, so even if you have multiple accounts over there, uh, you could select exactly which one you want to use uh, for here. So I, I'm going to show you the payment gateways uh, and, and some of the other integrations just right now. Uh, so what you do for that is you go to apps um, and there, uh, for example, let, let's just take a look at the autoresponders first. So these are all the autoresponders and here are the payment processes, Stripe, PayPal, Authorize.net, Razorpay, Instamojo, and so many others that we have. And also, you know, also these currencies, Ethereum and BitPay, uh, these can also be used uh, to be connected over here. Very unique. Um, and, and, you know, you can connect them uh, here and uh, have your processes uh, done over here. There are some miscellaneous integrations that you can do with Shopify, for example, SMTP. So even if you want to connect your own SMTP uh, TP provider to send out emails or something, you can uh, definitely do that. Uh, over here. So a large, uh, you know, selection of um, uh, autoresponders and many other things that you can integrate right here. Okay, so let's continue this feature rich journey. And now I'd like to show you some things about uh, pricing options, um, especially over here for this. So um, if, uh, firstly, the, you know, you can set up payment gateways. Um, and once you set them up, whatever you set up over here, like I was showing you, those are the payment gateways uh, that show up over here. In this case, there are Stripe and, and PayPal. Um, and then there are uh, pricing options. OK, so let's uh, let's just take a look at these uh, pricing options. There are options are one time subscription, split pay and, uh, you know, pay is uh, pay at your own pay your own price uh, option, essentially. So um, let's just delete this for now. Uh, the ones that uh, I had put in earlier just for uh, demonstration purposes and let's uh, you know let's do this new so that you can see it um, so these four options that you have let's say the one-time price uh, you can set up a one-time price you enter a price of $99 for example uh, you can uh, set a limit to it yes there is a limit to what quantity is it so you can set a certain quantity over there and it'll give you a summary of uh, you know what you would be charging your uh, customer uh, for it so you can also say no 
and then save it and this is taken care of uh, as well so no 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 problem at all so let's take a look at what subscription is so you know lots of op options over here you can set billing frequencies daily monthly um or daily weekly uh, monthly uh, you know various such uh, options like that um so let's say monthly and you can even build quarterly or yearly uh, so for this purpose of this example um uh, you know let's just go with um uh, let's say a monthly um a subscription uh, that we have here and when we take that let's uh, go with the subscription price let's say of nine dollars um and uh, so you can also decide you know what the subscription price will be what will get billed all the time but also what today's price would be so you can set it to anything like zero dollars or one dollar so this is for the trial period um and after the trial period is over uh, the subscription goes back to um uh, to, to 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 the nine dollars so you can set how long the trial period is going to be one day three days seven days however you want uh, this, this 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 frequency um or, or the duration of the trial to be you can also determine what the rebuilds would be like in definite or custom so let's say you take custom and let's say 500 rebuilds uh, just as an example and the system will calculate for you you know what you would end up charging your customer for the 500 rebuilds uh, over there the, the amount that you saw um and if it's nine dollars um and um for this trial if it's 99 dollars, the the system will always calculate for you uh and you'll see it uh, right over there like that uh figure of one thousand uh two hundred dollars so you'll always get a good estimate of what the um lifetime value of your customer is uh when you use this um, which is obviously a very, very handy tool as far as uh, subscriptions are concerned. So you see now it's gone up to $6,000 just with this uh, example I'm using over here for 60 uh, rebuilds right here. So that's uh, pretty cool, actually. So, but let's revert this back. Uh, let's take the number of uh, rebuilds out. Um, and, uh, you know, you can also say that this is indefinite. Um and uh, let's re re reduce this to nine and 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 one dollar over here um and uh what we let's take that out as well so it'll, basically your buyer will be charged one dollar uh now for the next seven days and thereafter uh nine dollars as a part of the subscription lifetime so you can also reduce this to zero and the moment you do that what happens essentially is is that this becomes a completely a free trial so we've provided a free trial now in this case now you can also add split pay that's another option that can be added and what it gives you essentially is the possibility of taking a payment that you would take normally in one shot uh, in various uh, installments so let's say you have uh, you can instead of taking 99 dollars you can take uh, three payments of 35 dollars each uh, so the system would calculate for you you know it will be 105 dollars or forty dollars is something that uh, you know. Oops, there is I think a bit of a mistake here. So you need to change this to three, and yeah. So now it comes to one hundred and twenty dollars. Um, yep. So there you go. Um, made a bit of a an error there. So you 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 can add this uh, as as an option uh, as well. So pretty cool. So here you can uh, do some tax calculation. So you can uh, let's delete all these. So for now, um, let's say you have value added tax. You can decide what the amount of tax would be um, and, um, and and decide the category and then you save it. So your tax is saved as well with the percentage of tax that you've set. So what you can also do now um, is that you can uh, set up uh, customized invoices so here basically you can customize the entire invoice so you can the text of the invoice like you see on the left hand side um, you know this text can actually be changed um, and whatever changes you make on the left hand side they reflect on the right hand side as you can see so you can totally customize uh, your invoice uh, however you want it uh, to look like for your customer the footer text can be changed um, uh, you know you can change all that stuff uh, name of the company um address everything uh, all those things can be changed so your invoice looks exactly the way you want it to so let's see you can even change the logo for example let's take um I don't know, let's let's see we, maybe the code zippy logo uh that we can take over here and uh whoops um let's do this again so the code zippy logo we took this and you know you can crop this and this is just an example right now i mean uh, this is uh, not the right dimension 
uh, for cropping it. That's why it looks a bit funky, but uh, when you do it uh, the right way, it'll, it, it'll look exactly the way you want it, um, want it to. I just picked up some random logo um, there just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so now you have everything set up. Now you can set up your bump offer. So in your bump offer, everything is customizable. So oh, the entire text is customizable. You can change each and every field out there. So you can set the price of the bump up offer and what text you want to go along with this. Uh, instead of the 99, you can also set it to $1.99. That is possible as well. So, okay, here now, this is uh, the, where you set up everything that you need for affiliate approval. All right. So, you know what the percentage of commission will be, um, how you want this to set it up, how long the cookie is going to be valid for, let's say for, uh, for, for 365 days. Um, you can uh, set all these durations, um, you know, how uh, the payment uh, terms, uh, URL, whether it's, uh, a f you know, product commission, fixed commission or a percentage, uh, whether it's going to be same or it's going to be different for different modes. So, for example, for different modes, you can set up uh, different values. And with modes, uh, what's meant is one time subscription, split payments, all those things. So for one time. Uh, you can say that you want to have percentage commission. If it's a subscription, you can change it. Uh, you know, you can say, I want to have a different um, commission if it's a subscription type of a payment. So you can select, you know, if, if it's going to be same for all, it's going to be same. So let's say 20% for any type of uh, a mode of payment. And if you go on different, then for, for different modes, like split payment or, um, or, 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 you know, whatever the, the, pay, the mode you choose, you can actually go ahead and customize stuff, um, and, and change it around. So this is amazingly powerful, gives you a lot of flexibility, uh, if you want to use it for same or different. Okay. Now you come to these cool button images. So from all, all the data that we entered, so we can get these three images now, and there'll be obviously a lot more of them depending on, you know, the, uh, all of the images, uh, all of the information provided. So it's one time $99 or $9 subscription or $40 as a split payment. And all you need to do is you, you need to, you know, just copy this code, um, and, and, uh, you know, put them on the, on, on your checkout pages. So let's take a look at the checkout pages now. Now there are various formats. Uh, there's the tall one step checkout page. Uh, where you get five templates. There are two uh, step checkout pages. Again, uh, five uh, templates, embeddable checkout, and uh, again, five templates and a uh, pop-up checkout. Yet another, uh, you know, set of five templates. So, and these are, you know, this is really, really flexible because you just, you need to uh, copy this code, put it on your website. And when you do that, um, you know, in, in the case of embeddable and, uh, and, 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 and uh, pop-up, um, it'll, it'll show up as, uh, as, as, as a pop-up in your site, or in this case, you know, it's an embeddable. So you can, uh, put this in your site here in the pop-up, uh, it'll show up in a pop-up and, uh, you know, you can use, uh, the payment processor that you've connected with your site, uh, to do this. So, uh, you know, if you take a look at, um, at the tall, um, one step checkout page, let's take a look at it now. So you can change the image uh, of, of, of this. You can, you know, change any background colors. Um, all these things you can change around. Uh, any text changes that need to be made or just need to click on the text and uh, you can uh, change that text around. Uh, so this is your customizable, uh, you know, checkout page. Change the fonts on it. Um, you know, whichever font, um, you find to be pleasing, uh, for your checkout page design. So you can completely customize it to make it uh, totally unique, um, uh, to, to, to what you're liking is essentially. So, um, yeah, for example, you, you know, we can just change a few fonts over here. Um, uh, and, uh, if you want to change the color of the text, uh, you can do that, um, uh, right here. And uh, there are so many options uh, that, you know, you can just play around uh, over here and suit it to exactly uh, make it look like how you want to. Uh, so I need the text over there uh, in those in those blocks. You can change the text around. So the moment uh, you change the text there, uh, you'll have those changes reflected over here. You can, you know, like make a few words bold um, uh, like like I've done over there um, or so many other such uh, things, you know, you can do. Uh, right over there. So it's totally customizable and um, uh, you can make a checkout page. Okay, let's let me close that just a bit. 
uh, you can make a checkout page exactly the way you want it to look like. All right. So now you can add uh, testimonials, a very powerful uh, tool uh, on page testimonials because people tend to um, believe uh, the testimonials that they read on those pages. They read those pages. You can, you know, remove uh, testimonials at any time. You can add and delete them um, and, and, and have everything on your checkout page. Uh, you know, change, you can add contact information. Uh, you can ask for, you can even, you know, change pre-populate fields. So you can, uh, you know, put anything you want over there that you want the customer to see. So this is especially if you're building multilingual or checkout pages in, in languages uh, different to English, uh, the default language that we have over here, very, very powerful method of uh, completely customizing uh, the whole page. And it applies to pretty much everything uh, that you see on the page um, over there. So your, your payment processors are, are, are there and connected. Uh, so you give the customer the possibility to choose uh, anything else. Any other payment processes that you add would also get over there. Okay, now here you see the pricing. So the pricing is there. The tax gets calculated, whatever, you know, um, um, the, the effective price is. And then the tool calculates uh, the exact price what the customer would pay. Any coupons? We'll talk about coupons in just a minute. You can change the terms of sales, very important. So if you have things that you want to change around over there uh, to, to fit your terms of sales, it, you can customize everything right there. So you can save the next and here you are at the checkout page. Everything can be customized over here. Uh, these, uh, you know, these tick marks, you, you, there'll be more images that will come here. You can change everything around the product name if you want to. All these things are, uh, you know, social media buttons. You save in next. Okay, here you can put custom scripts. So this is, uh, uh, you know, super cool. If you want to track your the performance, uh, you know, you can put a script in the success page. Um, if there is an error page or, or whatever, all these uh, scripts can be put and it'll help you track um, each and every uh, step of, of whatever happens. So basically after that, the after purchase uh, process starts and there you can decide what you want to do after the purchase has been made. Do you want to send them to another URL um, or uh, what, 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 where the customer should go thereafter? So everything can be defined uh, exactly the way you want it uh, over here. So uh, in, in case of, you know, the, the, the customer buys, uh, or doesn't, you know, where, where do you want to direct them, uh, to, uh, next? So you can also put in IPNs over there. So that, that's also URL effectively. Uh, so if you, if, if this is, for example, a digital product and you want an account to be created, um, you know, you can have this IPN fired and, uh, you know, entering that would basically have an account created in, uh, the system uh, that you have. So, uh, I mean, we're not using IPN over here right now. So you can also send the customer to the, to another product. So if, like here, we just have one product, but if you have multiple products, all of them will show up over there and you can also send them to another uh, product, just like uh, you would do in a funnel. So if there's a success, they would you take them to another product uh, and uh, try to sell them uh, that product as well. Okay. So you save and next. And with that, you're pretty much uh, done. Um, with this now, um, you, all you need to do thereafter is, you know, just basically get the URL, um, of the product. You, 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 you copy, let's copy and paste this. Let's go to a new, uh, tab. Let's enter it. Uh, so whoever is visiting this page will, uh, go boom right here, uh, and see the product. Uh, everything is over there, just like the way you set it up, your testimonials, uh, your payment processors, your terms of sales. Um, it, it, you know, who the product owner is, if the affiliate is promoting this, then the affiliate name would also be there. Uh, all the other information, name and everything, all these things are, uh, aware and, and the pricing options. So for example, you, you've chosen this pricing option. Um, and, uh, so it's $9 subscription. Uh, so even for a $0 payment, like we had set it up, um, this would become a purchase and then there would be a $9 charge. Uh, thereafter. So everything is uh, up running functioning and you can, you know, the, the customer can also choose how they want to pay uh, for the purchase. Uh, so that would be uh, reflected over there. All right. So the other thing that one can do is obviously with coupons, um, a very powerful way of uh, getting 
people to buy. So I've just set a coupon here, created a coupon called off 99. Let's create a new one. Uh, let's call it uh, off 10, for example. So you can name the coupon here. Um, uh, also what you want to, uh, you know, what, what, what the coupon code is going to be. Um, and set all the other parameters. Uh, if you want it to be a percentage, uh, you know, what the va uh, dollar value or, or currency is going to be. Uh, so you can, you know, be, it can be either fixed or a percentage. Um, and uh, uh, all you, you can always, you know, set, um, uh, for example, all the parameters for what the coupon is. And then you can also provide redemption instructions. For example, is it valid immediately or is it valid after a certain date? Um, is it uh, valid until a certain date is also the next thing um, that, that, that you can decide uh, and set over there, right there uh, with the dates. Um, and what is also obviously possible to do um, over there after the dates have been uh, taken care of, you can, you know, put put like time frames that, it, you know, it's from uh, from and, and, and to kind of a deal. You can also say the number of times this coupon uh, will be active. So, you know, let's say it's going to be redeemed only thrice. So, so it's only th three times that it's possible for it to be uh, redeemed. So, uh, so you can set all these parameters uh, when you do that. If it's for a certain product or if it's for all products, you, let's say we take this for Lumen 201. And the moment we do that, um, uh, we can see that when you when you go to uh, the, the the Lumen 201 page dot ccard dot com and you try to give the coupon, it says invalid code. Why is that? Ten off is not the name of the coupon. The name of the coupon is off ten. So that there is a system in place that you know nobody can fool around with this uh, and and try to put some wrong codes in there. Uh, that's just not going to work. So it really needs to be the coupon that you have set. And the moment you set that coupon. Uh, it'll actually also work on the checkout page uh, and your customer will get the benefit of, um, uh, of, of of checking out over there. Okay, so the other thing that's possible to see is transactions. So you can see all the transactions, uh, like, uh, you know, like, like, like I was mentioning, uh, for currency, for dates, uh, all those filters can be set. And uh, just like I was showing in the beginning, uh, of the dashboard, you can see them, um, you know, all transactions and, and uh, all, all the information that is uh, available to the system, uh, you, you can see over there. Um, and also the connected invoice, which you can download as a, as a PDF um, and, um, uh, you know, uh, use that for uh, whatever purpose uh, you need to use it for then. Okay, then uh, there's obviously the affiliate system. I showed this to you already. So you'll see all your affiliates here, the ones, uh, you know, the ones who are there. You can see all their stats um, right here at a glance, uh, number of sales, all these things that they've made uh, for you, commissions. You can download their information um, uh, using these uh, buttons over here. Uh, then uh, there is the wallet, um, you know, the amount that is the balance that is in there and, and also what can be withdrawn. Uh, which you can do using PayPal, Pioneer, and uh, obviously via transfer uh, are the options that, uh, that 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 we have in there. So um, uh, that's uh, that's definitely in there. I showed you the profile already, um, uh, and uh, you know everything is customizable uh, exactly the way uh, you need it uh, to be. If you have purchases of your own, they'll show up over here. So this is the, the purchases section. Now, what I did want to touch upon over here is that you, we have an entire funnel builder over here, which is also, you know, our flagship product uh, and allows you to make absolutely stunningly beautiful pages, uh, that you can make over here. So very simple system to use as you saw. Uh, and I hope you found this demo to be of, of value. And, uh, you know, uh, you'll enjoy using it. And so together with my awesome partner, Madhav Zatta, uh, this is Dr. Samir Joshi signing off. Um, and uh, I uh, hope you'll, you know, you'll be using this system uh, and uh, selling amazing products um, with it, uh, with the simple to use uh, technology that we have uh, out there for you. Great. I'll see you guys uh, very soon.